Welcome back everyone to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Sultan Mokalover. In which right now we are currently at war with our favorite nation in the world, Armenia. So we decided to attack them. Uh, oh, the game is currently running. Okay, cool. Puerto Rico goes bankrupt. They better pay their debts. Um, to be honest with you guys, even though we have minus three terrain and they have gas attack, I decided to attack anyways just because, well, they don't have that many guys. And so let's talk about a few comments. Someone recommends we take out Transylvania, Serbia, which actually was taken out by Hungary of all places. And take out Croatia, which I do plan on taking them all out. But I want to finish off one little nation first before we get down there. Because it's going to take a little bit of time to get down there. And also, the Soviet Union no longer exists. Now we have Russia, led by socialist revolutionaries. And they still have some rebels. Soviet dudes. Oh, okay, cool. Greece has been forced to declare bankruptcy. Ah, oh, the start of a long, long tradition. I love it. Oh, no, the Netherlands is no longer in our sphere. Whatever. I'm going to start taking them out, too. Now, unfortunately, we can't just full annex them. What we have to do first is take Georgian Armenia, or Armenian Georgia. And I also want to take out Georgia, too. Don't get me wrong. We're taking these guys all out. Oh, they're, at, they're by themselves. And we're trying to get indirect artillery fire as well. Oh, well, that's not good. That's the first time that's actually happened in a while. Acquire Armenian Georgia. Ah, now I feel so much better about myself. We need to make more money. But I'm going to have you guys come up. Actually, that makes it a little bit easier for us since now. We we can guard this state. We can guard this state. Armenia probably won't be too much of an issue. Someone did say in yesterday's comment section that even if we don't lose World War One, we kind of like the Armenians or we're okay with them. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. All right. So that's not too bad. And, oh, wow. The Levant and Palestine, all those regions don't really like us that much. But you know what? I don't really care what they want. We're doing really, really well, and I will see you when we are ready to go to war with the Greeks or the Georgians. Either one of the G-word countries. Well, it seems like it's that time of year again. It's time for us to put a few people in their place. And actually, I just noticed. Hold on, let's go to war with them. Uh, we actually still have the repaid debts payment against them. We now have 15 infamy, because I kind of didn't care at the end. I got, like, two more infamy or whatever. Didn't really care about that. Especially since we're late game now. Uh, pretty much late game. But you look at this. That's a lot of F-word. That's a lot of fascists. That's a lot... Do they have nothing but fa... They have so many fascists down here. What is wrong with the Greeks? We got nothing but socialists and conservatives and liberals, which is fine. We got a nice plethora of different ideas here, but... They be loving some fascism down there in Greece. Now, I have been building a small little navy. We got a battleship, a couple cruisers, and a lot of troop ships, but... Gosh dang. Oh, we oh we just... We gas in the Greeks. Ah, <sighs> that makes me feel so good on the inside, doesn't it? And get our navy in, and okay, we just stomp them. Nice. Uh, fascist soup kitchens? If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead, but party's work is not illegal, and there's therefore not a government concern. It's just a ruse to build up support for the party, and this nonsense? You know what? Everyday needs for Porsche Rod goes down. More population growth, po militancy goes down. I'm totally okay with that. Um, but, yeah, no. Greek fascists. Uh, okay, this is very weird. Belgium? Sure, why not? I'll ally with you, but honestly, if the Netherlands wants to beat you up, so be it. Whatever. Uh, Czechoslovakia, was it? Yes, please. I like the Czechs. Czechs are cool people, I guess. Maybe. Depending on, depending on your opinion. Oh, Greece. Oh, we're just sitting there while these guys, are, the rebels and the Greeks are killing each other. And we did get some tanks and some of our armies, too, so. Let's see. I'm not sure how to exactly use these efficiently, these armor pieces. Because these guys are looking great. I made three artillery, two armor. Because we, we can't, you know, keep up production of armor. What's going on around here? Militant socials, huh? Okay, cool, whatever. We're still out to the Germans, which is great. Now, before this campaign ends, I do plan to go to war with the UK and France at least. So, and I do want to take out Croatia next. So, hey, it's 19, 1914. That's a great year. Wait, do we... Why are we retreating? What is going on? Those are Greeks? Not for much longer. Well, head on home and do what you can. Another general has died, but I'll be honest, I don't really care. <laughs> Alright, we got that. Ah, uh, Armenia, you're looking a little too thick there. There's so many people I want to take out. So many. Actually, no, I'm going to send you guys down here. Because we need a border with a lot of soldiers against France. Because I want to take all the colonies. If possible. Now, they're allied to us. We'll probably break their alliance, but I'm... 
probably going to end up going to go to war with... Oh, they're allied with Trias in Kazakhstan, huh? I would like uh, to influence Kazakhstan a little bit more, but whatever. Yeah. Goodbye, Greeks. We almost have indirect artillery fire. They're not going to piece us out. I don't want to get that extra infamy. Now this is proper Ottoman Balkans. Cool. But we'll be back in just a little bit. Well, well, well. It's time for us to have a little bit of a, a spa with some... Balkan nations. Let's raise up our taxes just a smidgen more, just a smidgen more, and have a good time with uh, the Croatians. Acquire states, Dalmatia, Slavonia. Which one would we prefer? Well, I would really love Croatia proper, but Slavonia, Slavonia, would be nice to give us more of a border with Hungary. I'm not too concerned about the Hungarians too much. I kind of prefer Dalmatia just because then we could take out Carnaro and maybe get to war with France that way. So why not? Let's take Dalmatia. I love the coast. And we're not going to call any allies in, too. So. Maybe I should have raised our spending level of our military before I went to war. But oh well. That'll be alright. And they're probably allied with these guys. Okay, they're not coming in. Nice. The war should be over probably pretty quickly, too. Let's see. Protectionism. Also, we have some more reforms. Let's see. Rehabilitation for penal system. Still have good health care. Not much else to change, but we've just been focusing on the penal system as much as possible. Possible. So We also have trinket minimum wage as well, if you saw right here. People really wanted that stuff. What do they want next? Low minimum wage? Y'all want wages? Oh, I guess we're not socialists again. Okay, well the party's doing a great job. I'm not sure what else to say. They probably started mobilizing. It's fine, whatever. I don't really care. I can mobilize as much as they want. They're not going to win. I'm glad that no one's helping them out either. It's great. Love it. We got a lot of colonial points too. Now we're going to spend them though. Oh, hello. Hey, up just in case. Are they gassing us? Oh, they, they are gassing us, but we're gassing them right back. Gas attack. We're gassing each other, but they have terrain and crossing and a digging cap. Oof. Oh, that's so many dead crows. Why would you do that, my friends? I just want your lands. Actually, we might be able to piece them out right now just for Dalmatia. We might have enough score. Oh, we need 100 score. Wow, that's a lot of score. Ah, oh, darn. Wait, hold on. United Kingdom? What are you doing with the Persians? And I was correct. Oh, no. White peace, no. Oh, hell, hell no. What are you talking about, guys? No, 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 no. Oh, is it time for another reform? Jolly good. Get set up there, and we'll finish this war off very soon. It's very, very quick wars that we're doing. Now, they were like low minimum wage. You know, it pains me to do this. It really does. I don't want to do this, but if we have to, we'll make child labor illegal. Okay, it's only 1950. And it only took us until then to make it illegal. All right. Better rain, divert more uh, water to local farms. The rain will fall sooner or later. Uh, you know what? I don't mind taking a small prestige hit. That's fine. If it helps the people out, so be it. Very, very good. And let's see. Spain. Oh, I guess Spain's in our sphere, huh? Well, I'm going to keep you guys here since you guys will be here anyways, so. Croatia. Croatia. Why do you send me white pieces? Oh, hello. Hungarian socialists? Break the country, please. Oh, they actually might break the country. That's, oh, that's fascists and socialists working together. This is a very weird timeline. Alright, guys. Come on. Let's give it up. Nice. Oh, and we also have Turkish tea. Turkish tea, called K, is an important part of Turkish culture, offering tea to guests as part of Turkish hospitality, though tea is most consumed in households, shops, and mostly Karathane, which is a social congregation of Turkish men. Turkish tea is typically prepared using two stacks kettles, called Kedanlik, spe specially designed for tea preparation. Waters brown down are brought to a boil in a larger loyal lower kettle, and then some of the water is used to fill the smaller kettle on top and seep or infuse several spoons of loose tea leaves, producing a very strong tea, despite the growing popularity of tea in the Ottoman Empire. There are no tea-producing provinces in our homeland. Now the microclimate region along the eastern coast of the Black Sea is identified by specialists as an ideal spot to start tea production, which will contribute to the task of fulfilling the growing demand for tea by Ottoman citizens. However, this knowledge is kept largely a secret by the British, and they are bound to be dissatisfied if we start our own tea production. Two things of tea? Relations with the UK goes down? Sounds great to me. I love the tea. And, oh, great. 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 I can't wait now to maybe 
take out Georgia. Georgia, 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 it's time for you to go. Ah, I love conquesting Georgia. This feels like it's probably also a very strong Russian pastime as well, so. Actually, you guys go back up there, that's fine. I don't really care. Uh, actually, redo that, my bad. I grabbed too many people at once. I was too excited to take out Georgia. Attacking 3,000 guys in here, probably not a good idea, but hey, we'll do it anyways. And head up that way, and that should be it. It's only 1916, and the, oh, the Persians are not having a good time. The, the, oh god. The, I can't speak right now, or remember anything I'm trying to say. The Russians declined to help or aid the Persians, so, whatever. And, oh man, they're, oh, that's not good for us. And they're still gassing us. God, I wish we could get gas defense. Hopefully we can get it soon. I would really, really like gas defense. Good, good, good. Oh, Georgia. Oh, wait, there's some rebels too, huh? Oh, well. It's going to be part of our country, and then we'll just... We're just going to leave our guys here, probably. To help defend against the Russians. Love it, my friends. Love it. And after them, we'll probably go ahead and try to take out a part of Transylvania next. Just so we can keep getting closer and closer to Austria, just because we can. More Balkans, more fun, and then we might just go to war with the French. I would like to dismantle the French nation. Oh, come on. Oh, we have to wait a day. Oh, we can't get the extra infamy blessing. Ugh, whatever. We're trying to get the best level worlds. We have 89% of our population, which can read now. Which is awesome, awesome, awesome. And Armenia is completely surrounded of us by us. I love it. Well, I knew this was going to happen eventually, but if you look at the top of the screen... The Germans want us to aid them in the war against well, the German war to dismantle the British Empire, so. Now, they have Brazil, they've got Ireland, they've got... They actually even have the Dutch there as well, huh? Interesting New Zealand, Canada. I knew this would happen eventually. And we're not exactly ready to go to war yet. I mean, I just... I literally just put some more... Uh, raise the budget for military stuff. And actually, we just got the reform for a low minimum wage. Cool. Fine with me. I don't really care. Let's see. Well, then. Hmm, that's a lot of British India to take out. Just in case, I'm gonna double up everyone here. Also, off screen for a while, I've just been like building forts in a lot of different places, so... I like building forts, go figure. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Oh, hello, free territory. If we win the war against them, that'll be great. Let's see what happens. Obviously our... Oh, wow, that's a lot of soldiers all around the place. That's not good. Ooh. Good. You cannot come through my lands. Now they're completely demoralized. Let's join in. And it becomes the first global conflict. Wait, why are they docked here? What the heck? They're not allowed to dock here. I did not give them docking rights. No way, man. Well, they want a wall. They will not be able to win it. Uh, it's probably not good to attack them still. I still would have liked to take... Oh, my, oh well, let's see. No, oh, I can't do anything. Oh, this is the great, first great war. Alright, so this is going to be kind of problematic. Since they're all over the place here, they're like bugs. The Brits. Why? Why have to be so buggy? At least Africa's gonna be nice. Uh, I gotta call you guys down. Start taking out regions of British Africa. I'll keep one guy up here too, so. There you go. Give me one moment, please. Job up. And. Well. We have a fleet. I'm not sure where to send these guys, actually. You know what? Send all you guys down here. Because we don't need them guarding Transylvania since we aren't going to go to war with them for now. So it'll be whatever. You guys go there, and then you guys go right there. And then you guys go actually all the way right there. But really go right there, because we're going to surround these guys and take them apart, hopefully. You guys. I'm not too worried about the Armenians attacking us. Go right there, there, there. That'd be good. And I'll call two of you armies down too. This is not going to be pleasant. I, I I don't ever remember them giving giving them military access to our lands, but you know they want to die. They signed their death wish. Yeah, whatever. They're going to occupy places. It doesn't matter to me too much. Hmm. Oh, there's just so many ships down here. Six six thirty nine. We can only have four ten nineteen. Oh, uh, we can probably pull a few soldiers off of here too. The Netherlands is going to be a little bit of a problem. Whatever. Once we get into one, all we need is one major battle. I'm keeping one group here in Greece as well, just in case. Keep you guys up here for the most part. One, two armies, maybe three max. So. 
We shall see. We can increase influence with Hungary and Belgium, huh? That'd be good. Well, I guess we're doing Belgium first. That's fine. Great war capitulations. They still have slightly more soldiers, but I'm not too worried about that. And it was Hungary next. Nice. I'm not too interested in the Hungarians, but you know what? If they break free of us, I don't really care too much. I'm not going to be too upset. Oh! Oh, Lampung, huh? Battle of Lampung. Is that down there? Oh, it's down here. Yeah, we're going to lose some of these places. That's fine, whatever. I don't really care. Um, I just want to hold on to the best of our abilities wherever we're at. So, you guys actually go up here. That'd probably be good. I guess you guys can go over there, too, if you really wanted to. That's a lot of soldiers. Oh, not bad, not bad. Still trying to make more armies, too, so... Brazil, I'm not too worried about Ireland. I'm really not I don't not concerned about at all. Hungary, uh, I'm gonna keep you out of that for now. That's fine. Oh, Germany, what are you doing right now? Germany. Oh, that's fine, okay. Galician provinces? Oh, they're fighting America? I'm not fighting America, no. No. I'm not I, I don't want to get involved. Well, you know, god dang, I guess we're over America too. Are you kidding me? Who cares about America right now? These soldiers are gonna get stuck there. It's going to be a good thing. Hopefully we can just peace out with the Americans. That'd be nice. Alright, well, if they want to do that, you're going to get bushwhacked by these guys, hopefully. God, these stupid parasites in our lands. Ooh, we actually need you right there. Good, so one, two, three, four, five. They're completely surrounded, and they're going to be attacking us soon. Very good. Oh, military aviation, and now we got airplanes. During the Great War, that makes a lot of sense in 1916, I guess. It's Germany, us, versus, and some of our few allies. I don't think we have that many allies, actually. We have Sweden, we've got Catalonia, of all places, and Norway. Poland wants Galicia, little bit Maria. Hmm. Alright, well. Well, we don't have gas defense yet. Enemy, my enemy. Now that we're in a state of total war, the idea is risen that our empire should approach the U.S enemies to see if there's any of those who would join our side against them. If you like to keep reading that, go right ahead. Yeah. We'll take what we can get. Guinea Bissau is agreed. Oh, that's why we had them join us. Wars upon us. If you like to read about this, go right ahead. We shall be victorious. Oh, yeah. They're, they're slaughtering us like crazy. Where is my gas defense? Come on. Seriously, we need gas defense now. Cool. And, you know what? Just head on into there. Cool. Where are we out of the Japanese? Can I call them in? The Japanese are doing quite well. No. Can't call them in. That sucks. Because they're not... Well, they're still allied with us, but we can't do anything about it. Increase relations with them. Why not? There you go. Alright, so where are they headed to? Hamno? No, no, no. Nope. You're gonna die there. Beautiful. Now we're losing some money, but I'm glad I built up a stockpile of extra cash, so that's good. Now you guys get down there, but really you guys are heading down there, and really but you guys are gonna be heading down there. Focus on one army at a time. It's gonna go all right for us. There you go. Killing them off. Very nice. You guys head down there. You guys head down there. You guys did a great job. Leave one army here in Basra. And take you and head down to where? Oh, that's going to be a lot of guys down here in Africa. That's alright. Anyone down there? Nope. Going to prevent them. Very nice. Very nice. Um, no, I'd rather ha not have you move. That's alright, that's alright. And what happened here? Oh, we had armor. And where are they headed to? Um, they are headed to the M word. Oh, to the left there. I'm going right there. Good. What? I wish. Maybe there's a way for us to see how many casualties we've taken. We've lost a little bit more. I'm not going to capitulate until the very end, though. Germany's doing. Oh, yeah, they're, they're taking out the Dutch. That's nice. That's very nice, actually. 
Oh, who's who's attacking? Oh, I did not attack them. No, I told them not to attack them. But alright, so be it. Mass helmet mass production. Very good. Very, very good. Well, I guess there's one way to do it. I mean you can brute force attack him, so. That is one strategy. You guys go there. Uh, I told you to go there, guys. Come on. Don't disobey me. Can we please get... Oh, are we gassing them back? No, they're gassing us. Very gassy nation. Losing a lot of money, but... Hey, they're all dead. It cost us quite a bit, but whatever. Oh, they're heading into there. Alright, so... Slovenia, I'd love to ally you, but now. Not bad, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Oh, are they attacking us? They're gassing us. Holy cow. Help defend. Oh, more railroads would be nice. We're already done with all this stuff. We could do more naval stuff, actually, but... Uh, I'd like more, a little bit more money first. Well, it gets alphabetic signal fact, flagging. We can't figure out how to use flags here, apparently, so... Uh, it doesn't really matter. Oh, we actually lost. Oh, is it down the, here? Oh, yeah, I guess it was. I don't really care. This part of Asia doesn't really interest me right now. We don't really need to care about it too much, so... And Russia's having a lot of rebels. Communists, go figure. There's too many guys there. You guys head up there for now. You guys head down here as well. Uh, Manan? Wait, how do we lose... Wait, how do we lose Bangor? What the heck is that? Show me. Okay, game. Seriously, if, if it says go to and I can't see that, then that's something wrong with the, the game. That's so dumb. You guys are done. Uh, let's see. Uh, America is at war with someone else. Oh, America, war with American aggression. Polish restoration of the Galician provinces. That'll get completed. I'm just more worried about these guys for now. Shadow of war, we ally with France? Um. Sure. Oh, they're allied with them too. Okay. Interesting. Italian restoration of the order of the Fiumi provinces. Oh, well. I don't really care, I'll be honest. If we throw another army in there, they'll, they'll die. Hopefully. Was places being occupied? Someone up here? Keep you guys up there. So be it, so be it. Uh, I hate these stupid, really massive global wars. All we need is one massive battle to win the entire war, and that'll be good. Good. Let's grab some naval design bureaus, because we can. Kill them all off, move in. Oh, hello. Are you... We're not attacking them. God, I hate the UK so much. I can't wait to just destroy them. Oh, they're attacking... Oh, Cyprus. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, the Germans are coming in. Oh, that's good. That's nice. Alright, so I need you guys down here, too. You guys come down to Africa, because these guys... What the hell is going on? Why do we not have gas defense yet? Seriously. Like, come on. How many times does it have to take to develop gas defense? Yeah, oh god, South Africa. Uh, let's see. Oh, good. Actually, that's pretty good for Poland. That's a nice Poland. That's a nice Kaiserreich Poland, actually. Very nice. Up them out down there, that'd be good. Alright, so we killed all those, all those guys off. That's good. Oh, they don't have that much that many soldiers. Oh, they're just destroying our armies over here. What the hell are these guys? Let's get the Germans involved. 60 BS? Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm gonna destroy the UK then. I can't just watch every single front all the time. This is so dumb. That's why I don't like getting into too many great wars at one time. I have too many, you know, fronts. Oof. Associationism went out. Yeah, that part of Africa I'm not really too concerned about. Alright, I'm moving you guys up. 
Al Il. Oh, we're gonna kill so many British soldiers. But the thing is, uh, a lot of these armies, I made sure that <clears throat> a lot of them have are made up of non-Turkish soldiers. So even if we lose a few guys here and there, our core, uh, except the culture, well, it continues to go up. Ah, uh, that's too many soldiers to attack there. We can attack there though. Now at least this is the real Great War. Come on, UK. Throw more soldiers at us. And why are we still at war with America? That makes no sense. I'm gonna propose peace. I don't care about America, I'll be honest. I really don't care about them. Not bad, not bad. We got our soldiers over here too, so they can't really do anything. Uh, you can combine arms, why not? I wonder if we could just attack them. It'd probably end disastrously. Oh! The Canadian Navy is showing up. Who do they have? Rebellion in our ally, they're not worth it. We lose hungry, I don't really care. We got bigger things to deal with right now. Seriously, we can't even do this. Put them down quickly, quietly. Oh! Oh, there goes Russia. Communists enforce their demands. Oh, they're trying to transport more soldiers. No, 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 no. Oh, we're gonna lose the army, whatever. Game, game, I paused the, the, I paused the gosh dang gang game, but it still refuses to pause sometimes. I don't understand it. How are we... That's so dumb. I mean, they lost more soldiers, which is great and all, but still. Uh, actually, I'm going to send you to this part of Africa. Even though the Hoi 4 frontline system isn't great, it's still not that bad compared to what we have to deal with here. Seriously? Seriously? Losses, losses, losses. What a bunch of BS. So stupid. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. God, I, I don't know when this happened, but they got access to our land. That is such crap. I never gave them military access. I know I didn't ever give it to them. It must have been the AI or something. Because that I, I never give access to these people, especially the, the Brits. Like, for reals? No, there goes the Germans. Hopefully the Germans can sort this crap out. Ugh. Oh. What a bunch of BS. You can set it that way. You guys are going to head on over to Africa because the Brits are imperialists and need to be put down. You gotta kill every single one, last one of them. The British Empire will end by the end of this war. Come on, just make get Figure out how to defend against gas. Jesus Christ. Oh, the Soviet Union's back with that. Nice little red spot. Hmm, really, I suppose Africa. I don't want to send too many soldiers over there, so I'll send one over. And send one over here as well, for now. Kill every single one of them. Good. It could help that we send some, uh, build some uh, stuff. A little bit higher tariffs, we gotta spend, get a little more money. Alright, so what do they have? The Dutch. They could easily beat our guys up. Stop moving. Stop moving. There should be an order where you tell them to stop moving. If you're at war. Like, yeah, I know rebellions are bad and all, but still. Come on, guys. You got this. Germans were defeated. Stop moving. Oh, my God. Uh, head on up there. That's fine. There's the Germans coming down there. Belgium? Oh, 37% for now. That's good. Oh, God. is Oh, the Germans are trying to peace out with the Americans. Or trying to dismantle the American Empire. That is going to make one really strong Germany, then. Fine, whatever. You guys head on there. It's fine. You guys head down. Oh, I already have one guy going that way. Let's go down this way. Yeah, that'd probably be good. Swedish Congo is at war with them, too. That's good to keep in mind. Alright, you guys are doing that. That's great. 
Hey! We lost quite a few ships, actually. But we're just transports, so that doesn't actually really matter at all. There you go. Nice. Take the island and you're gonna die there. Seriously, Australia. Actually, budget-wise, we're spending as much as we can on them. Their taxes is a little bit higher. Good. Oh, let's destroy the Australian fleet. Oh, look at that. Get the hell out of my Africa. Wait. We're not attacking. I'm not attacking this. Who? What? I'm defending here, aren't I? I'm pretty sure I'm defending there. I'm more than certain I'm defending there. Uh, let's see. Great work. Oh, the Dutch are gone. That's good. Aksum? Where's that one? Wait, what? What is it? <sighs> oh, so you guys went back. That's good. Hungary went completely red. Wow. Oh, no, they went fascist. Oh, it's a fascist flag. All right, well, whatever. Wait, what happened to our armies? Oh, they went down here already. Why don't we use gas attack? If we're attacking, why are we not using gas attack? That doesn't make any sense. So, what the heck? <laughs> uh, let's grab some naval professionals and help our navy out a little bit more. That'd be good. Kill every single one of them. Good. We did well there. Now, this army's looking really weak, so I don't want to really move them too much. You guys go there. Actually, where are they headed to? Nola. So, we're not going to go to Nola. And you guys head down to there. Good. Kill them all off. That's nice. Treat them how they would treat us. And basically, we have to exterminate them. Maybe another month there. That's fine. If they attack us, they're going to die there. Uh, yeah, that's kind of a mess. It's kind of a mess, everyone. Kind of a mess. How's the war going, though? 24%. It keeps going up and down. We Actually, they have less soldiers than we do now. Especially because the Dutch decided to capitulate. So that's good. They wanted the war. Not me. I don't want this stupid war. Uh, great work. Oh, Catalonia's gone. That's nice. I recommend you guys get up here if you can. If you can. Thank you. Troop ships. Nice. Not bad, not bad. Portugal's... Oh, we're also war with Portugal. I didn't realize that. Hungry? Nope, we're good for now. Get out of here, you stupid Brits. Mm. South Africa. Please. Oh! We lost... They didn't lose anybody. Are you kidding me? Uh, how many British boys got to die for them? I'll keep you guys there. And there's, since there's two armies there... You can probably go right there. The Germans are coming in. Love it. I love the Germans. Help them out down there. You two? We're going to go down here immediately. Sounds like we made another ship as well. It's good. Keeping our three provinces over there. And how are we doing over here? Oh! Well, just get off all of those ships. Nice. Now, they should be starving. At least, maybe a little bit. At least in my mind, they would be starving. We're making some more money. That's good. Good. Ah, oh, thank God for Germany. Oof. 51% of the way there. Nice. Actually, this is, this is a great war. It's not going well enough. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. You guys are coming down here, that's good. Are both of you heading down there? Go to Zomba. Oh, uh, please tell me they're attacking us. Yes, they are. Finally. Oh, we got some naval professionalism as well. That's very nice, very nice. Oh, do we get wait, did we just get it? Oh we got it, thank god. Oh my goodness. 
Thank God we got gas defense. Supply range, might as well do that. Really focus on the Navy here. No more gassy. No more gassy gassy. Alright, they're headed to this area, so we're not going to go down there yet. I'll give you, let you guys go up this way. You go to that way. That'd be nice. Good. Thank God we actually got gas defense. Finally. Finally. We well, lost hundreds of thousands of soldiers because of the incompetence of our generals, but that's alright. That's okay. What the heck? Oh, you guys headed down there. Yeah, no. Don't worry about that. That's the rally point I sent them to, so. Nice. Oh, I got two, two troop ships. That's not bad. Hello. I'm not attack. Where? We, what? No. I'm not attacking you. Sure, sure. Okay. Sure, we'll, we'll ally with you. Why not? So dumb. So dumb. They have almost no infantry left. Is it only their artillery that's dying? Pretty much. Good. Now it's going to make Germany extremely strong, but eh, I'm kind of okay with that. The Netherlands has fallen its status. I didn't know the Netherlands was a great power. Well, I guess it makes sense. And you guys are just kind of hanging out. Well, hmm. Germans are very strong. Oh, look at that. South Africa, they got a, they got a burn too. Well, the third place in the world in terms of military power, the UK should not be first. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're only first because of the, the ships they have. That's probably the, why they have that much. Yeah, that's so dumb. Ukari? Yeah, no. I'm going to send you guys home to... Re wow, that looks really bad. Well, let's see. al Asa, Cool. Oh, wow, look at this. The Germans went all the way to India. Holy bad words. Oh, and the Soviets still have fascist up... Okay, that's weird. Fascist uprisings, whatever. And... To be honest with you, I was really not expecting to go to war with these guys this early. Or, maybe not this early, but... Things would be like this, but whatever. Doesn't matter. It is what it is. Hopefully we get some colonies out of this. Um, you, know, you guys go to Bonnie, why not? Oh, they took out all of those German colonies. Nice. 52%? Oh, they're definitely... The Brits have definitely lost their advantage. It's great. Can we get all the way down to, like, here or something? I'd love to take Cape Town. That'd be so good. Man, we got to really reform our army once we're done with this war, but that's alright with me. Anything happen here? No. That's alright. Yeah, I think it's just a navy that they have left. For British strength? Still making more money. You know what? I don't want my people to be too injured in this war in terms of finances. So, we can lower how much taxation we have. Yeah, I mean, that... that I saw them attack this. I'm like, no, that's probably not a good idea. Yeah, at this point, I don't think I really want to help them out too much with that. I can help these guys out, maybe. 52% still. I mean, the Germans have... These are must be all... Yeah, they're all mobilized. Whew. Alright, I mean, there's not much we can... I'm, I, I love the Germans. The Germans are great. That's a trick to pretty much any campaign. Just ally the Germans and make sure they don't lose. Oh, the Swedes even took some territory. Nice. Uh, where are we? You guys are here. Oh, we, went, we, we already got all the way down there. Nice. Great. Good. Oh, the Americans are down there too. Well, I don't really care too much. Head on down there too. There's stuff. The Germans are not giving up yet. You know what? Screw it. We'll hop out. British French Summit of 1917. They failed to make any significant progress. Talks with the UK stalled, and even with our common ideological ground, there are just too many remaining issues between our nations to improve relations more than marginally. Good. Oh, wow. These guys lost a lot of guys. That was not worth it. I'm going to go ahead and send you guys somewhere else, maybe, because there's not too much more land down here that we could really take. I'd love to invade Portugal, but we don't have that big of a navy or an army, so... Go on to Alexandria. Help defend some areas if we need to. You want to send in more soldiers, huh? 
Good. Naval organization goes up. Great. Man, I'd love to get dreadnoughts, but those are so expensive. Belgium. Hello, Belgium. Should probably make some more armies, too. But we'll do that off-screen. I mean, off... Oh. Trans Baikal. It's Japan and Russia, huh? And the, oh, the Italians are great power, finally, huh? Oh, there's something... Are they really 7th? Who's 8th? The Soviet Union, okay. There we go. Blow up their ships. We might be able to actually win there. Yeah, it's not bad. Great. Go and repair if you need to. That's not bad. Hmm. Well, I got the capital. That's nice. Walchester? Walchester? Fine, it's fine. You guys still doing your thing down there? Oh, they have a lot of soldiers down there still. What a loam. Oh, don't go to loam. Don't go. No! No, you're too fast. No! <laughs> now that's my fault. I admit that is my fault completely. Uh, we deserve to lose pretty much that army then. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Go, 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 get out, get out. It's, it's auto saving. Get out. I didn't see those soldiers there. Oh my god, when can we not leave the- when can we leave the- okay, whew. Most of them were killed, but that's okay. Thank goodness I can script most of my army to not be Turkish people. Let's see, diplomacy, German Empire. Uh, we actually really like the French. Unfortunately, I gotta decrease my relations with them. Soviet Union, why not? Increase high relations. They're level- they're ninth in the world, huh? That's good. Keep taking more of the coast so they can't repair anything else around here. That's good. Doing a good job. I think France will probably be next. We've almost got him down here too. Mosul Bay. Where are we at? 54%. Alright, not bad. Not great, but not bad. It's gonna take a little bit more time, but that's fine with me. I did not expect this video to be this long. Get this down quickly. Get them all off. Uh, actually, you guys are not doing too much down here. You guys head on over here. Yeah, no, up there actually. See what we can do about that. You guys are still patrolling the area. That's nice. You guys are looking probably pretty darn good. These guys honestly should be starving or something. Having some sort of attrition. Alright, so when can we get some ticking war score? Maybe not. Maybe we'll force Portugal to leave. Can we uh, add war goal? Let's take... Oh, it's quite a bit less. Free allied cores? No, that's not cool. Take puppet acquire place in the sun. Well, we'll see. I mean, even if we add it, doesn't mean we'll get them. I would really like Aiden, at least. And that's a free state. British Sicily would be nice. Aiden would be nice. 3.6. You know what? That's not too much. Kick him out of here. Oh, we made a lot of money here. Lots of money. No hungry work. We're okay. Port Elizabeth would be great to grab. Very nice. Still conflict in the world, but whatever. There's always conflict in the world. Hungry. I'm not sure they're really worth that much keeping them, but whatever. Still a bunch of fascists down there, but whatever. Um, you guys still hanging out, having a good time, coming to Lagos, enjoy the beaches, probably. Yeah, not much else is really going on. Swedes are down here, still dealing with these guys, not going to attack them. Nice. What was that? Yuka? Buka? Bo, Bio? Bio? Oh. Um, okay then. Well, whatever. Investment bank? Yeah, we could actually do that for African farms and mines. I forgot about that one. Nice. Why is it going down now? Hmm. Hey, we're third in the world for military. The Germans must have lost a lot of guys. Beautiful. Kill them off. Just straight up kill them all off. So at this point, I mean, we have... All these guys. We could probably capitulate these guys out. Well, I guess Germany is number one in the world. Baratia acquires all states with... Oh, Baratia. Soblin. Are you led by Soblin? 
Hmm. Interesting. What if we came over here? The demands of war, we will win this war. Total war will be removed. The constant state of war of the Ottoman Empire has taken uh, un its toll on our people. Sure, this is basic goods and fears to deliver swift victory, worn down the enthusiasm which with the Ottoman people initially greeted the war effort. If things don't turn around soon, we'll face growing weariness and unrest within our own borders. Whatever, I don't really care. So how are we going to win this war? That's a good question. 53%, huh? Hmm. We need to find more areas with more soldiers. I mean, they're down here. we got to keep sieging places down. But you know what? How about this? We'll end the episode here. And I will do a little bit more off-screen and hopefully peace them out. So, if you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. All of India is besieged. And I'll see you tomorrow when we'll have hopefully a peace deal with the UK. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.